back, sweeper, defensive midfield player. Yeah, yeah, and we shouldn't forget his outstanding. Trice! As all things go, this is up there. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player review. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the Dutch maestro himself, Johan Cruyff. And this is our review. We've tested him. We're going to show you the ultimate build. We're going to show you why he's so strong. Is he going to be the new meta? I mean, a lot of people have asked me that question. There seems to be a new meta player every week. And honestly, I think that the trick to this card and the secret to this card is actually showcased in the trailer, which is why I'm showing you the trailer. You will see here, obviously, that there's three examples of how this player can score. He can take on players, he can take them out wide, and of course, we're going to see an aerial ball in as well for the header. Now, this is going to give us a little teaser as to how I'm going to build him, right? But honestly, I have just not really been able to use Cruyff up until now, but he just seems to be the perfect mix of passing and of course, shooting and taking on. And, he's, and lads, the biggest thing about him is he's like Hoyness. He's super, super strong. Now, it is actually interesting as well that the boosters that they've given are the showtime skills that they've given. We'll get into that in a second. But this kind of sums it up. Look at the strength of Cruyff here to get around Turam and just be able to kind of slot at home from a first time. And again, one touch back into Cruyff here. Lovely bit of strength. We're going to have a look at that again in a second. But he's just so strong, man. Super, super, super strong on the ball with this build that we're going to show you here. And I do like the fact that they've given him phenomenal pass. Maybe it would have been better if he had phenomenal finishing. I did kind of question the live stream yesterday. Did they mix up Tati and Cruyff's showtime skills? Because I know Cruyff was an insane passer. Lads. He was an absolute brilliant passer. And looking at clips of him, he just was a beast. But he's down as a deep line forward. So I think that you do have to play him kind of in a more advanced role. And usually if you get the ball in those advanced roles, you're not going to be passing the ball as much, right? Now, you can see his stats here. I think he's got 9 or 10 stats that are going to be like nearly at the perfect balance. But we're going to obviously top that up a little bit here in a minute. But very nice skills. He's got unwavering form. He's got like high foot accuracy. And as I said, super, super strong as well, right? So this uh, Cruyff reminds me, because he's a deep line forward, of one of my favorite ever players, which is Neymar Santos or Santos Neymar. And we're going to have a look at Cruyff here. He just absolutely blows him out of the water in terms of sheer stats. And also with how he produces on the pitch. We already showed you this clip. Look how strong he is here against Turam. Now listen, lads. Turam is the granddaddy. He's one of the best players in the game. And Cruyff just absolutely obliterates him. And that was in like one or two situations here. Again, Cruyff rolls a couple of other players here. He's super strong and able to slot in and hold off. This looks very simple, man. But there's players in the game that just can't do this. In terms of Cruyff can do it. But there's other players like Saviola, Mike alone. They don't have that physical contact. Cruyff has the balance and the physical contact. And the trick with Cruyff is to get that physical contact to 85 and the balance to 95. Now, we're going to do this with the build, but also with the booster. The booster is key to this card here, which is going to be the physicality booster. You can also give him the shooting booster if you want to, you know, um, have the balance and trade up the dexterity and take one off of, of, of shooting. But I think the physicality booster gives you your most bang for your buck because you're going to get the jumping, the physical contact, the balance and the stamina. That means his jumping is going to be like 91, physical contact 85, balance 95 and stamina 84 while still having speed, acceleration, attacking awareness, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, finishing, everything perfect. So that's the build, 8 into shooting, 0 into passing, 4 into dribbling, 10 into deck, 6 into lower body, 10 into aerial strength, and that's the build that we've gone for with the booster, right? Obviously, we're going to give him that booster. First time shot is already on him. I would definitely try and give him aerial superiority and chip shot control. If you want to give him flip flap, or sorry, he has flip flap. If you want to give him soul control, this is his double touch. It can be fast, depends on the angle that you cut in. But I don't think you really need to give ball roller advanced double touch to Cruyff. It's probably not worth the two skills. If you want to give it to him, give it to him. And if you are comparing him with probably the best ever deep line forward that they've ever had. Now, I would potentially train Leo Messi in a different way here. I don't think you need huge dribbling and tight possession. But obviously, shout out to OC. Um, this is uh, when we tested out Cruyff. It was on OCs. So shout out to him. But that's how he compares to him there. So let me know what you guys think about Cruyff. As I've said, my thoughts on Cruyff. I haven't really used the previous version of Cruyff. Um, I don't think that the previous version of Cruyff... I just felt that he was always clunky. There's two or three players in the game list that I just never have been able to use. Cruyff, Rafael Leao, a couple of players like that that I just haven't really been able to kind of use properly, no matter what build I've used. But this Cruyff definitely felt silky and strong, which is kind of where the gameplay is at right now if you play possession. 
You know, if you don't play possession or you don't like to bring the ball into defenders and take them on 1v1 and you like to keep the ball moving with quick passes, then, you know, Cruyff is going to be kind of like similar to pretty much every other player that has one touch pass and the stats that he has, especially his 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 passing is really good. But yeah, he just felt like a step above. If you have other versions of Cruyff, you probably don't need to bother. But this one definitely uh, was playing well for me. So that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe. Just a quick video. We're going to have an edit mode up, an edit mode video coming soon as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll talk to you in a bit.